And I don't understand how you can be for a mandate after you have this information uh, that, A, first, the vaccines uh, do not prevent transmission. They do not prevent contraction. They might reduce it. But but now everyone knows that everyone is going to eventually contract the virus, likely, correct? Yes. And so now how can they justify mandates if everyone's going to get it? The, the point of a mandate is to protect you from someone else who gets it. But if you're going to get it anyway, who does it matter who you get it from, a vaccinated person or an unvaccinated person? Because we know a vaccinated person sheds the virus, too. And when they're infected, they have just as big a viral load as a person who's unvaccinated. So how can they? My question is, how do they justify those mandates or are they just in completely ignoring the science? I think they're ignoring uh, basic public health because I think these mandates are unethical. Uh, you shouldn't mandate a 25 year old uh, college student to get vaccinated uh, who have already had COVID. So they already have the immunity. Uh, they are they're at low risk, even if they didn't have had COVID. But then there are people in India or Nigeria or Brazil who are 75 years old and they can't get the vaccine because there's not enough supply. So it's uh, so these mandates they actually um, they actually uh, are hurting people in other countries who need these vaccines because they're in all the age groups. So it's unethical to force young people in the U.S. and Western Europe to get vaccinated when there are older people in the rest of the world who need the vaccines to uh, to increase their uh, rate of survival. You know, I had a cousin and an uncle, both both over the age of 70 in India that died because they didn't have the vaccines in time um, from the Delta surge in April of last year. Um, you know, I, th I think uh, it's 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 not just what Martin said, which is absolutely true. This, these vaccine mandates are, are have de denied older people the vaccine worldwide. But it's also that the mandates have been used to destroy the lives and livelihoods of countless people in it right here at home, people who served as you know, they, they, they were they were firefighters or or nurses or you know, tr truck drivers or whatever working at, throughout the whole pandemic before the vaccine, even if they were older, many of them got COVID, and now a lot of them have lost their jobs because they didn't want to get a vaccine they didn't really need or they didn't weren't convinced it was like worthwhile for them. It's a cruel thing that we've done with the, the mandates. We've created a, a whole class of, set, of a whole set of second class citizens, not on the basis of, of any scientific reality, but just simply because I mean, I just I, I can't you ask the question why I can't actually explain why it's it must I, it must be if I'm being charitable, a, a misunderstanding about immunity. Uh, a lot of the government documents that justify it pretend as if getting COVID and recovering doesn't confer immunity. And that just is not based on scientific facts. 